Welcome to the CPV training part two, being a college positive volunteer. This section will explain in depth what it means to be a college positive volunteer and also offers activities to complete with youth you serve. By the end of this section, you will understand how to use the CPV toolkit, the Access and Success website, the Know How to Go initiative, and the Michigan College Access Portal as effective resources. As CPVs, you are resources, not experts, on College Access. You have downloaded the CPV toolkit that includes ideas, resources, and activities you can take with you when working with youth, and a website as an online resource. We will go through the toolkit, and then we will explain the features of the Access and Success website. We're going to walk through the toolkit section by section so you can fully understand its contents as you feel comfortable using it as a resource. The simplest way to implement College Talk into your volunteering experience is to wear your college gear. Wearing your college gear shows the youth that you are proud of your institution and it serves as a conversation starter about college. On page two of the toolkit, there is a detailed list of things to think about before volunteering. You do not necessarily need to go through um, all of these steps, but be sure to be aware of all of them. One example is being in culturally sensitive. A student's community may be different than your home community. Be sensitive and open to these differences. Included in the toolkit are college positive activities you can do with the youth while you volunteer. Take the toolkit with you when you volunteer to use as a reference. The activities are divided by age group, elementary, middle, and high school. However, most activities can be modified to fit any age group. Do not be afraid to be creative when planning activities with youth. These activities are just suggestions, and feel free to make your own. Some activities require time, preparation, and an ongoing relationship with the youth, while others require no preparation at all. Therefore, these activities are broken up by length of service within their age groupings. Again, these activities are not set in stone and can be modified for different lengths of service. An event-based activity is a limited time interaction. A short-term activity is longer than an event. And an extended-term activity is a longer-term commitment. One example of an extended term activity is the awards event on page 11 of the toolkit. You can create an awards event for your students who achieved set goals for the year and bring the students' families to the awards ceremony. This encourages them to reach college positive goals. This activity requires a longer period of time knowing the student, what goals they need to set and meet, as well as time to plan the event. We will now begin Activity 2, Creating an Activity List. This activity is designed to help you get acquainted with the CPV Toolkit and find appropriate activities for a specific age group. Think about the age group you work with frequently, and then find two appropriate activities in the CPV Toolkit Sections 2, 3, or 4, and then come up with one activity on your own. Record your activities on the Activity 2 sheet in your activity packet. You might not always have your toolkit when you are volunteering, therefore you might have to be creative. You can now pause this webinar to complete the activity. Section 5 in the toolkit, after the activities, is about paying for college. This section includes information on eight different payment options. We will go over this section in more depth later in the training. Section 6 in the toolkit is additional resources. 
Here you will find a campus visit checklist that you can take on campus visits with youth, an online scavenger hunt activity that helps you get to know the colleges within their own state, a self-inventory for all ages that helps students think about the things that they're interested in so they can begin figuring out which career paths will fit them best, and other internet resources. This is a list of approved resources that will aid you when preparing for, applying for, and enrolling in college. All of these resources are available on the Access and Success website and can be printed out before you volunteer. The Access and Success website can be found at compactaccesstosuccess.com. The website contains a printable version of the CPD toolkit, information about the CPD training, one-page resources to educate CPDs on special topics, a list of college access and success partner organizations, and much more. The Michigan College Access Portal is a statewide college access initiative for high school students developed by the Department of Education. The Michigan CAP offers scholarship searches, college searches, activities for choosing a career path, loan cost calculators, links to the Michigan Electronic Library, and test preparation sites, as well as resume building to help students obtain employment. Visit the Access and Success website for more information on the Michigan CAP and look for similar resources and initiatives in your state. The Know How to Go initiative is supported by the Lumina Foundation, the American Council on Education, and the Ad Council. This multi-year multimedia effort includes television, radio, and outdoor public service advertisements that encourage 8th through 10th graders to prepare for college using four simple steps. One, be a pain. Let everyone know that you're going to college and need their help. Two, push yourself. Working a little harder today will make getting into college even easier. Three, find the right fit. Find out what kind of school is the best match for you and your career goals. And four, put your hands on some cash. If you think you can't afford college, think again. There's lots of aid out there. Visit the Know How to Go website for information on activities and resources in your state. We will now begin Activity 3, Developing a Plan of Action. As a college positive volunteer, you may encounter situations that you may have never dealt with before. Thinking about a range of situations and knowing how to respond will help you have a successful CPD experience. Please refer to the Activity 3 worksheet in your activity packet. Read the five possible scenarios, choose at least two of the situations, and develop responses. There are no wrong answers to these questions and we advise you to discuss them with a friend or mentor in order to be fully prepared to respond to the youth you work with. You can now pause this webinar to complete the activity. Now that you have completed the entire Part 2, Being a College Positive Volunteer in Activities 2 and 3, we will begin the review questions. Please answer the questions on your training review sheet under Part 2. Question 1. When volunteering, college students should... Question 2. If you are being a non-judgmental CPV, you will... Question 3. A college student volunteer at a three-day K-12 activity. Question 4. One simple thing all CPVs can do to promote college is... Question 5. If you are a short-term CPV, you are working with K-12 youth. Question 6. The toolkit provides... Question 
Question seven. College positive volunteers Question 8. A CPV working with K-6 through youth would probably not... Question 7. A CPV working... Question 9. A CPV working with high school students should... Question 10. The activities for elementary students. We will now display review to answers. Thank you for completing part two of the CPV training. Please move on to the third webinar, part three, paying for college.